The James Webb Space Telescope has been designed to answer many of the core questions that have animated astronomers over the past half century. With a $10 billion price tag, it is one of the most ambitious engineering initiatives ever attempted. But for it to achieve its potential, nothing less than to rewrite the history of the cosmos and reshape humanity's position within it, a lot of things have to work just right. However, Webb just captured very strange and terrifying first images that shocked scientists all over the world and almost changed how they look at the universe. So join me as I show you the insights of terrifying first images captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The wait is finally over. The team behind NASA's James Webb Space Telescope released some of the first unbelievable images from the much-anticipated observatory on Friday, February 11th. The main photo, which doesn't even hint at the power Webb will be bringing to the universe once it's fully operational, shows a star called HD 84406 and is only a portion of the mosaic taken over 25 hours beginning on February 2, during the ongoing process to align the observatory's segmented mirror. Why was HD 84406 the first target of the James Webb Space Telescope? Previously, the scientific community had a variety of conjectures about James Webb's first observation target, and many people also actively offered suggestions for NASA. Now the answer seems to be solved. So why is this object for most people? Can the obscure HD 804406 enter the eyes of NASA and become James Webb's first observation target? In fact, the answer may be unexpected because the James Webb Space Telescope operates in infrared mode and its mirror is always facing the North Sun, which results in a working angle of about 39% of the sky area, and the James Webb commissioning period is as long as three. Therefore, during its commissioning, the selected observation target needs to be located in its field of view for a long time, and HD 804406 just meets the above key conditions. So, NASA finally selected HD 804406 as James Webb's first, an observation target. In fact, to be precise, HD 804406 was the first debug target selected by the James Webb Space Telescope to debug the engineering system of the telescope, and therefore was not an official observation target of James Webb. According to Jonathan Gardner, James Webb Deputy Senior Project Scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, and Alexander Lalockwood, James Webb Science Communications Project Scientist at the Space Telescope Science Institute. Once the telescope is operational, HD 84406 will be too bright to be studied by James Webb, but for now it's the perfect target to start our search for photons. That said, when the James Webb Space Telescope is officially operational after commissioning is complete, a star as bright as HD 804406 cannot be a formal observation target because, while difficult to spot with the naked eye, it is still too bright for James Webb and could permanently damage expensive observing instruments. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope has also completed an important technical adjustment which is to switch the communication method between the telescope and the Earth to the Ka band which has a higher rate for download data. Before that, James Webb used the S band to communicate with the Earth. The entire web team is ecstatic at how well the first steps of taking images and aligning the telescope are proceeding. Marcia Rique, principal investigator of the instrument that Webb relies on for the alignment procedure and astronomer at the University of Arizona, said in a NASA statement. JWST is now 48 days out from its Christmas Day launch and in the midst of a commissioning process expected to last about six months. The telescope spent the first month unfolding from its launch configuration and trekking out nearly 1 million miles, 1.5 million kilometers, away from Earth. During the bulk of the remaining time, scientists are focusing on waking and calibrating the observatory's instruments and making the minute adjustments of the telescope's 18 golden mirror segments that are necessary for crisp, clear images of the deep universe. The process is going well, according to NASA. This initial search covered an area about the size of the full moon because the segment dots could potentially have been spread out in the sky. Marshall Perrin, the deputy telescope scientist for Webb and an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, said in the same statement, 
Taking so much data right on the first day required all of Webb's scientists' operations and data processing systems here on Earth working smoothly with the observatory in space right from the start. And we found light from all 18 segments very near the center early in that search. This is a great starting point for mirror alignment. Still, the telescope has a long way to go as today's images of HD 84406 shows. The very first images are going to be ugly, Webb Operations Project scientists said during a news conference held on January 8th as the telescope began the process of unstowing its mirrors. It is going to be blurry. We'll have 18 of these little images all over the sky. And the photograph does indeed show multiple views of HD 84406, the star that JWST scientists recently announced that they had chosen to look at first. Starlight, star bright, the first star Webb will see is HD 84406, a sun-like star about 260 light years away, NASA officials wrote on Twitter January 28th. HD 84406 is in the constellation Ursa Major, or Big Bear, but is not visible from Earth without a telescope. But it was a perfect early target for Webb because its brightness is steady and the observatory can always spot it, so the launch or deployment delays wouldn't affect the plan. Oddly, JWST won't be able to observe HD 84406 later in its tenure. Once the telescope is focused, this star will be too bright to look at. Previously, JWST personnel have said that the telescope will be seeing fairly sharply by late April. Even as the JWST works to hone its vision, a second key process is taking place in the background as the observatory sends the remaining heat from its time on Earth out into space. Because Webb is tuned to study the universe in infrared light, the light beyond the red end of the visible spectrum, infrared light reveals new details and images, deepening our understanding of celestial objects, which also registers as heat. The observatory must be incredibly cold to obtain accurate data. NASA scientists expect that the golden primary mirror will reach temperatures as low as minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 223 degrees Celsius, or 50 degrees Kelvin. Instruments must be even colder, according to an agency statement. In addition to the images of HD 84406, NASA also shared a selfie image that the observatory took using a special lens targeting the observatory's primary mirror to assist during the alignment process. This selfie was created using a specialized pupil imaging lens inside the NIR CAM instrument that was designed to take images of the primary mirror segments instead of images of space. This configuration is not used during scientific operations and is used strictly for engineering and alignment purposes. In this case, the bright segment was pointed at a bright star, while the others aren't currently in the same alignment. This image gave an early indication of the primary mirror alignment to the instrument. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope team has begun the three-month process of aligning the telescope. To work together as a single mirror, the telescope's 18 primary mirror segments need to match each other to the fraction of a wavelength of light. All told, scientists are thrilled about the observatory's progress. Launching Webb to space was of course an exciting event, but for scientists and optical engineers, this is a pinnacle moment when light from a star is successfully making its way through the system down onto a detector. Said Michael McElwain, Webb Observatory Project Scientist, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Moving forward, Webb's images will only become clearer, more detail-laden, and more intricate as its other three instruments arrive at their intended cryogenic operating temperatures and begin capturing data. The cryogenic temperature range has been defined as from negative 150 degrees Celsius to absolute zero, the temperature at which molecular motion comes as close as theoretically possible to ceasing completely. Cryogenic temperatures are considerably lower than those encountered in ordinary physical processes. Though this is a big moment, confirming that Webb is a functional telescope, there is much ahead to be done in the coming months to prepare the observatory for full scientific operations using all four of its instruments. Comment down below your thoughts on James Webb Telescope First Images.